Hey, this is Lance from Langchain. Google just released Gemma 3, the smaller, compact, but high-performance models that presumably are distilled from one of the larger Gemini models. So you can kind of think about this as Gemini Mini. Now, this comes in a few different sizes, 1B, 4B, 12B, and 27B. They are open source, which is nice as you can run them locally, for example, on your device. And we'll be showing that shortly. They're multimodal, they're up to 120K tokens, 140 languages, structured outputs, and function calling. So these look like very nice, compact, high-performance models that can be run locally and privately. So again, here's the point about distillation. They are distilled from larger Instruct models, probably one of the Gemini models and they employ RLHF as well as RLMF and RLEF for math and coding. Now here's some interesting evaluation scores. So Gemma 3, 27B, score similar to Gemini 1.5 Pro, an earlier version of the Gemini model series. So we're seeing some clear performance benefits from distillation. And what's really interesting is that the 27 billion parameter Gemma 3 model has an ELO score of 1339, if you look at Chatbot Arena, that actually ranks it quite high. It's tied for ninth place here in the company of some very strong and much larger models. And this was a nice way to represent this. So if you look at ELO score versus model size, 27 billion parameter Gemma 3 does quite well for its size. You can see it occupies this pretty interesting regime up in this corner where it's a very small model, comparatively speaking, comparing to like DeepSeek R1 or DeepSeek V3, but it's quite strong in terms of ELO score. Now what's really neat is these models are small enough that you can run them locally. So if I check out Olama, for example, I can see that they have the 1B, 4B, 12B, and 27 billion parameter models all provided. And you can have a look here, and you can see how large they are. Now 27 billion parameter model is a bit much for my device. I'm on an M2 MacBook Pro, 32 gigs, but I can very comfortably run the 4 billion parameter model and probably the 12 billion as well. And let's try testing out the 4 billion parameter model. So all I'm gonna do is a llama pull, Gemma 3, 4B. And if I wanna run this, all I would need to do is just pip install Langchain Llama and then initialize my chat model as seen here and specify the model name. Now let's actually run this with a library that I've been using for testing many different local models. This is Olama Deep Researcher. So this is a repo that I have that's a little deep research assistant that runs locally. It's configured to run with lots of different search engines. And what it's gonna do is simply an iterative search and summarization loop for as long as you want. What's cool is it uses local models, so it's free. So basically, it'll take a topic, generate a search query. Now that search query generation will use structured outputs to basically format the query, and we'll then kick off a web search from that structured query, take those search results and distill or summarize them, reflect on the summary to generate a new query, and repeat. So this process will repeat as long as you want. So to run this, all you need to do is just, you can look at the readme here, and you can just run this command to spin up LangGraph Studio, which will run the Deep Researcher locally on your machine. So I'm in cursor now. I just want to show really quickly all I've done. So basically, Olama pull, and you specify the model you want. In this case, I'm going to grab the 4 billion parameter model. And I've already pulled it, so that's really quick. And then all I need to do is, as mentioned in the readme, just kick off my local Deep Researcher. And you'll see Studio just spin up in your browser. So this is the local Deep Researcher. And what's really nice is just go to Manage Assistance. And I've already created an assistant with this model. All I need to do is specify the name of the local LLM I pulled. And everything else is can be configured as you want. In this case, I'll use Tavali for search. But again, you can use DuckDuckGo or Perplexity. And you can set the number of research loops you want to do maximum. I'll say three. Cool, and I just have to hit activate to initiate this particular assistant with these configurations. And again, this is gonna use Olama under the hood. So all I have to do is specify the new model name and I can give it a research topic. And I'd be really interested in model context protocol recently or MCP, so I basically ask, give me an overview of model context protocol and usage with cursor as an example. And again, you can see my configuration here, I'll be using my new local model, and I kick that off. Cool, so generate some search queries. Web search is done. Now it's doing a summarization, and we can see the summarize, so summarization streaming as we go. Now it will reflect and determine any knowledge gaps. It runs nice and fast to four billion parameter models, which is really nice. It's gonna kick off another round of summarization, so it's actually moving quite fast here. We can see it stream, reflects, and produces follow-up queries for us. 
Web search will use the follow-up queries. And again, we continue to iteratively improve our summary based upon each search iteration. And we get kind of a nice overview here along with the sources it collected in its iterative search. So we can see that Gemma runs pretty quickly. We can go ahead and open up the Langsmith trace and actually inspect it in a little bit more detail. And this is pretty cool. So we can see each Shadow Llama call to Gemma, how fast, one and a half seconds, five seconds for summarization, four and a half seconds for reflection. So it's pretty quick. And again, this was all zero cost us because this ran locally. And I'm using a free tier of Tavali web search. So that's also free for me. And it is worth noting that in this test, it uses structured outputs. And so it appears that Gemma is producing valid JSON effectively as we want. So overall, this looks like a really nice new local model with a good variation in size. The 1B, 12B are all fairly feasible on higher end consumer laptops. The 27B, which is quite performant based upon evaluation, as mentioned previously, probably requires a GPU, but it's really nice to see this new release from Google. And I'm excited to work with these models a bit more. So have a look and test them out for yourself. Feel free to leave any comments below.